So Elon Musk tweeted, if major Dogecoin holders sell most of their coins, it will get my full support. Too much concentration is the only real issue, in my opinion. Then he also went on to say, I will literally pay actual money if they just avoid their account. Wow, doesn't that sound exactly like what I've been saying, Papa Elon? Have you been watching my videos? Odd intro, I know, I know, but it's been a weird and kind of slow couple days. We finally got some movement yesterday when Bitcoin shot up to $49,900. So close. Of course, that was right before getting rejected all the way back down to around $45,800. Nevertheless, we were able to take advantage of these moves in both directions with Friday's trade setups. Tell me you took those trades. Did, did you miss them? No worries, no worries. If you missed Friday's trades, we have some new trades for you guys for this week to make some profits only if you stay tuned till the end. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and knowledge to take you guys to that next level. So if this is the first time you see one of my videos, consider subscribing. Make sure to put a thumbs up on the video as well and turn on that notification bell so that every time we post a brand new video with trade setups like today's, you guys are notified right away. So today we're going to be talking about this weekend and it was kind of slow as you guys can see. This is kind of what I looked like during the weekend while I just kind of waited for $50,000. Then we're going to do a price analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're going to talk about what we can expect this week and it with some trade setups for the week to hopefully make all of us some profits. The big question is, will we see $50,000 per Bitcoin this week? Let's talk about it. All right, so first let's go ahead and talk about these trade setups that we gave you guys on Friday. So the first trade setup that we spoke about on Friday was that 48.5K entry, it was a breakout entry above the consolidation areas. And if you guys took the, this trade, this ran all the way up to new all time highs here, as you guys can see. So the entry would have been right around this area so it would have been this exact candle right here and you would have been able to ride this all the way up to about 49.9 if you use 10x leverage like us you would have done about 29 percent profits on that move so that would have been a great setup that was a perfect setup right there obviously then you guys would have got out during this dip so this was basically the movement that we had over the weekend we had this you know a bunch of consolidation and all of a sudden we had the takeoff and then in the evening we had the drop and then this morning we had the bounce basically right so if you guys played that bounce that next entry that we gave you guys that support entry we gave you guys was this 46k area so remember we wanted this to see this go down and back up back going back up is where we entered and that trade if you wrote it all the way up to about 49k which is where it went back up to right here Guys, that would have been about 65% profit if you took that and wrote it all the way up using 10x leverage. If you guys were not able to grab the 46, because it could have been, it did happen very fast. You guys had the opportunity to then grab 47K though. If you guys grabbed 47 and wrote it all the way up to the top this morning, you would have done about 42.5% profits on that trade. So in Ethereum, if you guys would have caught um, the setup from Friday, on Friday we told you guys that we would like a dip below 1700 and 1700 on the bounce back is where we would look for a bounce entry, a support bounce entry, right? That's exactly what happened here, guys. As you guys can see, we went as low as, let's see, the low is around 1650-ish area, and we were able to catch this bounce here at 1700, and that went all the way up till about, 1800 or so 1830 or so something like that and that would have been 38 percent profit if you took that using 5x leverage 
on Ethereum. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into Bitcoin and talk about where we think it might go this weekend and what we're watching, what we're looking at. In case you guys hear any noises in the background, I apologize, the whole city has decided to wait for me to start recording to start some construction using the loudest tools they possibly have in their tool bag. So I apologize about that. All right guys, so as you can see, we had Bitcoin finally take off right here. That was that takeoff candle right there. And that led us all the way up to 49.9 thousand, right? So uh, the high was $49,926. Obviously it depends on which exchange you're looking at it on. This one is Bybit. Um, so Bybit almost ran to that 50K. And then of course we got that rejection, which took us all the way back down to about $45,830. So remember we spoke about this last week, Monday and on Friday, where I said that we once we get to that 50K range, as close as we can. We said that once we get to that 50K range that there would be a lot of sellers coming in and selling so it, it wouldn't be a surprise to see hard rejections. Now obviously I don't know how far the rejection, the rejections are going to go but as you can see um, we had that rejection from 49.9K all the way down to 45.8K. Although it was $4,000 rejection, it was only about three to 4% down. And then we quickly saw this bounce back up. We gave some signals to, to enter here at 47K. And that was perfect because that's the exact bounce that we were looking for. You know, the 46K bounce, that was literally at the bottom of that bounce. So it was kind of difficult to catch. Um, we did our first position that we entered was around 46.2K. And then we entered on the break of 47K, which then continued all the way up to about 49K, as you guys can see there. So it was kind of an odd weekend where it was there was just a whole lot of consolidation. And then out of nowhere, there was a huge jump up and then a huge drop down, followed by this morning's you know bounce back up. So currently we're really just watching these same levels, right? We're watching that 50K levels, what we're gonna be watching and any dips, we're gonna be looking at this 47, as you guys can see, that's basically where we had that bounce. There's been a lot of consolidation right there on 47 and 46 as well, right? So as you guys can see, it's bounced back every time between those two levels. Now, if we drop below that 46 to 47K range, then we're looking at 45. 45 is also a big area there that we're watching. If we get a drop down there, then we're risking, like we said before, we're, we're looking to risk around 3% on that trade. Anything between 45, you know, up to about 49, we're only risking 1% if we take those trades. Now, of course, if we, for some reason, drop down lower than 45, then we're basically looking at these levels over here, which is right around that 40,000 area. Also, of course, 42 should play a role here. As you guys can see, that was the previous all time high. So that should be some sort of support there. But that range will likely be between 40 to 42 K if we were to drop and come back down to this area. So that would be the range there. Um, if we for some reason dropped below 45 K, that next support range is going to be between 40 to 42 K. All right. So if we do see a breakout above 50 K, what can we expect? What price target can we expect that? Let's take a look at that, right? So if you guys look at what's currently going on here, as far as the pattern, you will see that we're basically on a ascending support here, right? And we've been getting these rejections basically at the same level, right? So this pattern is called a flat top pattern, right? So if we got a breakout here, which would be called a flat top breakout, the expected move would be basically the distance of this right here, right? So basically the peak of this flat top and the bottom of the flat top. So if we just grab this and put it over here where we could expect a breakout. You will see that the level potentially expected on this breakout when we finally break through would be right around this 54K range, right? Let me make a better, there you go, $54,000 range. So that's kind of the target that we're looking at. On Friday, we, told, we spoke about that 53K range. 
um, which could be the area for uh, where Bitcoin's market cap would hit one trillion dollars. So this fifty four thousand dollar area kind of aligns with that same narrative, which makes it very, very possible as the next area um, once we break through 50K. Now, looking at Ethereum, as you guys can see, guys, year to date, we're already up one hundred and forty seven percent year to date, guys, in the past month we're up 38 percent past week four percent um so guys we're up a lot all right i've heard a lot of people saying that ethereum's not moving guys we're up so much already relax in the past year we're up 647 percent, guys so chill so in ethereum we hit a new all-time high i believe it was on friday that that all-time high ended up being right around that 1877 area so look how close we've come already to that target that i that we spoke about a while back right this was actually during this flat top breakout right that was when when we did this flat top breakout over here and you can see we after the breakout we've slowly been grinding upwards towards this target of 1920 which is uh the target that i set after breaking through here right so now you were able to see how we got that flat top breakout uh number uh, last time and how we're now reaching the target on it in ethereum and so you know bitcoin might be doing the same thing very very soon now of course once we break this 1900 area i'm expecting it to us to test uh 2000 of course at 2000 we'll probably see a lot of uh, selling pressure just like with bitcoin at 50k so we definitely expect consolidation in that area, in, in that 1900 area before breaking 2K. But once we break 2K, guys, I'm expecting 2500 basically right away and maybe even 3000 for Ethereum. Now on any uh, retracements, any pullbacks, or basically watching the same levels that we were over the weekend, as you guys can see here, that 1700 range basically held it up and we bounce right back up towards 1800. If we were to go below 17, then the 1600 range right here is that next area of interest. It's also the Fibonacci level, also a whole number. So you can see why there's a lot of reasons why that would hold. And then finally, 1500, you know, this is gonna be a big number here as well. I don't expect us to go anywhere below that. As you can see, we've just been basically printing higher highs, higher lows, higher high, higher low higher high you know we've just continued to print higher 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 so uh we can expect that same trend to continue here in ethereum throughout this week all right guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video so far next we're gonna talk about the possible trade setups that we're looking to take this week to make some profits so get ready get your notes out get ready to write you need to write these down to make sure that you're taking these trades if you're finding value in this video so far make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet if you are subscribed then make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that every time we post new videos five times a week you guys are notified instantly all righty so the first thing we're going to be talking about here is bitcoin of course um basically here what we're looking at uh we're looking here it's kind of weird i'm not taking any trades at 49k just because uh there, there's gonna be a lot of rejections there um as you can see here a lot of consolidation rejections so i'm probably looking back at uh 48k entries possibly um with pullbacks if not back down to 47 will be the next entries i'm looking for all of these are one percent risk on the trades I'm not not risking anything crazy here. Um, the breakout trade is obviously going to be above 50k. So above 50k is what I'm look is where I'm really looking for a trade. Um, I again I expect a lot of uh, consolidation here. I expect a lot of sell off pressure here. But if we have enough buyers to overcome those sellers, we can shoot straight up to possibly. 54k and beyond guys as soon as we break above that 50k uh level i expect buyers and people who sold to jump right back in and kind of fomo in and you know just kind of ride that wave up i also expect probably a short squeeze above 50,000, where um shorts are gonna close out their positions and some are some shorts are gonna get liquidated and also that'll add into the momentum as we shoot up 
uh, past you know 50 past fifty thousand dollars so that's the biggest thing that I'm looking at right now this week is to break above fifty thousand dollars I will be risking around three to four percent on that trade of course any pullbacks then we're watching down here back down at 47 46 and 45k areas if we were to go below that for any reason then that 42 to forty thousand dollar range is the next levels that i'm looking for a bounce remember we're always looking to enter on the bounce once the price and the momentum is already shooting back up we're not looking to enter while the price is falling in ethereum we're kind of looking at the same thing we, we want a we want to see a break above this previous high now the previous high is so close to 1900 that you can literally just enter at 1900 if you want um because there, there could be rejections right after 1880 but um we're gonna go ahead and take that 1880 above 1880 entry anyways you know it just depends on your on your risk tolerance so you could take the entry at 18 above 1880 or above 1900 um, 1% risk on these trades if there's any pullbacks possible entries can be 1800 you can also use uh, 1700 of course and if for some reason we go lower then 16 and 1500 will be those next support entries as always we're entering on the bounce not the drop and basically uh as far as a target we're you know you, know, you guys know what we're looking for we're looking for 2k already um, that'll be the first time Ethereum ever hits that level and it's kind of on course with Bitcoin back in 2017 So don't be surprised guys if the price does the same thing after we break 2000 we shoot up to 2500 3k within the same couple hours or days um, it, will, it will be no surprise to me as it's kind of following exactly what Bitcoin did in 2017 when it hit these levels and that's basically it guys that's what we're watching for this week uh that's currently what's going on in the market currently the sentiment of what we're you know expecting this week so if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to take these trades guys we've been hitting on almost every single trade that we've been giving you guys for free remember we put we post all these levels out for free for you guys um, if you guys want more one-on-one -on -one and want to know exactly when we're taking these trades ex What exactly our trade plan is then you guys can join the trade room There's a link in the description for that and we provide a lot more info as far as what we're doing personally day to day but That's it for us guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. I hope you guys make some profits this week and uh, Yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow on the flippy flip as always guys peace and love.